Good morning all. Time to solder my BMS, the high current stuff, into um, basically an extension piece here. I put a fuse in there as well and that means I can connect my solar panel to the battery and get charging it. Right, let's put some solder in here. Now I want the uh, battery negative blue to be in this connector and then pack negative black to be in this connector which you normally see on the end of a battery pack and that will give me a BMS protected battery pack need lots of solder in there Okay, so blue goes on this uh, one. Oh, it's moving around. I need some blue tack. Okay, I need to clean the iron because it gets very dirty very quickly because of the high temperature. Okay, let's get that in there. Get some heat flowing. That's good, that's taken. Okay, and I've got my pieces of heat shrink on here. Let's do the other one. And uh, out here in the shed, I've now connected the BMS to the battery cells with the balance lead and the main current lead. I've got my solar panel outside connected to here. That runs through this bulb and directly into the battery. No charge controller and it does work when the batteries fill up. This bulb switches off. Hopefully I'll capture that. And uh, yes there it is. And then when the uh, cell that's topped out backs off and the BMS switches back on the bulb comes back on. Now I can't really see what's going on because I don't have my balance charge leads on these two connectors. So what I'm going to do is go back into the office now, construct a cable for that and then we can watch the cell voltages while this thing charges up from solar. Grey here is most negative, black is most positive. I'll try and remember that by it having the red next to it. These connectors will have to go upside down because the latching mechanism on there is on the bottom. So these must be the same. That's the four way. That's the five way. That should do it. And there it is. Uh, I've made the four way slightly longer because it has to reach over to the other pack. But let's plug it in and see if it works. The battery checker is now on here with my lead that I've made up. So I can see the eight voltages all the time. That's good. Solar's coming in here. I think there's a cloud going past at the moment. Through this light bulb, through my ammeter. See if I can get that a bit more into shot. And so if I connect, now that's positive, positive, positive. If I connect that to there, uh, the lamp comes on, I'm charging the cells, the BMS is ultimately monitoring and will cut off the charge if a cell goes too high. Now what's happening here, we've got one at 3.6, oh it's climbing up quickly, that cell 5 is at 3.65 now. Now the BMS is a bit tardy or at least it's high setting is a bit high doesn't actually shut off until about 3.75 interesting but at least it shuts off now the point about this is that uh, cell 5 which actually is that one at the back on the top there is way ahead of all the others so it's high now I don't know whether the with balance on this BMS is actually going to do anything very much I think it would be better if I set up um, a charging and balancing setup that isn't running off the solar for 
the time being, or at least for as long as to get these cells into balance because they're clearly way out. I'm not sure when this will cut back in. Uh, the highest cell is still cell 5 at 3.58. So I'm waiting for that to drop down to whatever threshold the BMS decides is low enough that it's going to switch back on. I'm tempted to say 3.55 but I don't know. Um, I will wait until that happens until this lamp comes back on and then I'll restart the camera. It's come back on. I just want to check the current and it was around an amp. It's falling probably because of the differential between solar panel voltage which I can see actually Oh, well, it's 33.3 volts now because the BMS has shut off, the lamp has gone off. That's back up at 3.73. So clearly this is not a very good setup. I'm going to rearrange things a bit. This is my new setup. It's the ISDT, ISDT T8. Uh, the balance charge lead is now going into that. Its output is going into the uh, well the cells via the BMS and I've got 12 volts on here from a power pack so I'm going to do um, we can see the voltages so they're upside down it's the only way I can arrange this um, yeah cell 6 is 3.57 cell 5 is 3.60 so that's the high one so I am going to do a uh, lifey 3.65 volts, 8S, half amp charge. Let's get that started. I'm doing it at a very low current because that way the balance charge circuit in here, and it's quite powerful. I think it can do up to 2 amps on these. It won't at a half amp charge, but it's going to be able to keep the high cells in check at this current. So it's pulling the high cells down, uh, cells 5 and 6 are now 3.50, but it needs to get them down to 3.39, that's the lowest one. Get them all in balance and then bring the whole pack up, well really slowly at half an amp, these are 10 amp hour, so theoretically it's a 20 hour charge. These are probably about half charge, this, what, this pack actually I think is quite near the top. So maybe it's six, seven, eight hours. Doesn't really matter to me. I'm just gonna leave everything out here and get this pack charged, top balanced, so that I'm ready to go back to charging it from solar. I've mounted the camera upside down so that for the video, it should be the right way up or near enough. Uh, oh, the exposure's still not quite right, is it? Let's get that right down like so. So you can see that it's quite good at pulling all the voltages together. Now it doesn't mean that the state of charge of all the cells is now matched. It's just putting some uh, resistance across the necessary wire pairs here to pull these all together. In fact, it's hinting that these cells are higher. I don't quite know what it's saying there. Everything is now at 3.41. That one's at 3.40 and it's just a case of leaving this now um, for it to very gradually bring everything up to 3.6, 3.65 is probably where it'll terminate. But at the same time holding down the cells which are clearly well ahead of the others. So yeah this T8 is doing quite a good job but it will be a very slow charge. Yeah, this is interesting. Why did that suddenly change the exposure? Get the exposure right. There it is. It's got the same cell voltage for each cell, or near enough, but it's definitely got longer bars for these two. So is it doing some sort of... I'm anticipating, because of what I know from historical events, that actually these cells are, have a higher state of charge. So are these bars more than just voltage bars? They must be. They must be anticipated state of charge bars. It's quite clever that. 
but um, it's certainly managing to hold these cells down to these voltages while it brings all the others up. So I think this is going to work. It's just going to take a long time. Oh, I missed it. The uh, display has gone blue. But it has now, if I come around here, balanced all the cells. It's beeping because it's telling me it's finished the charge. They're all falling back. Now cell 4 was a bit of a laggard. And indeed you can see from that that it's falling back the quickest. If I keep restarting the charge at lower amounts of current, I can probably um, sort of get it to match up with the others. But it doesn't really matter. Essentially the T8 has now filled my eight lithium ion phosphate cells completely. And really the next thing I need to do, and I've started to think about this, I found this power supply uh, which was probably given to me by Banggood a few years ago. Um, it does 15 amps on the output, so that should be okay to step the 24 volts from my lithium ion phosphate down to the 12 volts needed for my ant miner at a reasonable current. I don't think I'm going to be able to run it with uh, all the hashing boards, but I can certainly start by running it with one. So the next thing is to make up some cables um from here to that power supply and from that power supply to the miner and empty all of these cells until the bms says that's low enough anyway for the moment my cells are all fully charged awaiting the discharge machine which is the ant miner uh, which is coming soon that'll be the next thing i work on so for the moment cheerio